So when you get Minecraft, there's different ways you can play it. You can play it on vanilla, you can use Forge, you can use whatever this is. But in particular, I decided to use Lunar Client. Today I discussed with you guys over why I prefer Lunar Client in comparison to any other Minecraft clients you may try, and why I suggest it for you guys. Keep in mind, I have nothing against you if you use any other client that isn't Lunar, this is just my thoughts. And with that, I say Lunar is the best thing to come across this planet. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, okay, wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. So you probably thought, you know, we we're going to continue the video, but wait a second, all right? Now, a couple days ago, I made a video pretty much explaining why I deleted my Discord server, but the support of that video was quite insane comment-wise, and many of you guys were pretty upset about it. So I decided that after a lot of thinking, I made a new Discord server. If you want more information on what's different about this one than the old one, there is a community post I made, which you should check out, but the link to the new Discord server is in the description, so I'd appreciate if you joined it. Things are going to be much different, and it's going to be a lot more strict rule-wise, and hopefully it can be a lot more enjoyable for you guys. I'm not kidding, it's it's really, really nice client. I'd recommend you go download it. I'll leave it in the description if you care. But anyways, I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about, you know, why I prefer Lunar Client over any other client. I have many people in my comment sections, and on streams especially, I'm going to switch out TV slash turtles. I have many people on my streams in my comments asking me, hey, why don't you use Badline Client? Or you should try Forge. Or why just why do you use Lunar? I don't like Lunar. Lunar doesn't work for me. But today I'm just gonna talk about, you know, the benefits in my opinion on why Lunar is just the better client. And like, you know, my history of of transferring through clients, I'd guess. So when I first got Minecraft, I obviously played on vanilla, but then after quite a bit, I was on like this 30 FPS laptop for like a long time. And then I decided that I wanted to try out Forge mods because I saw Purple's mods folder video and I just took his whole mods folder video and just changed the color theme to blue or something, whatever my favorite color was at the time. And then I was like, hey, I'm, I'm so cool. Look how, look how cool everything looks. I'm, I'm literally like Purple, bro. My favorite YouTuber. Aqua, let's not do this. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know, I'm, I'm just like, it, I'm recording at a very different time compared to normal. It's like, what, 12 o'clock for me right now? And, oh, I am in, I'm in the zone. So I, you know, copied Purple's mods folder and I used Forge for a very long time. I had a nice FPS boost from Optifine. I still got garbage FPS on my laptop, but you know what? It, it was working, I guess. But then I discovered one thing in specific, and that was the fact that I wasn't getting as good frames as I could be getting. Because then... I saw a video by Intel Edits where he reviewed multiple different, you know, clients, FPS boosting clients, Minecraft PvP clients, and I saw one of them that he covered was actually called Bad Lion Client. Now let me just, you know, let me just go through this real quick. Before anything, all right, I am completely aware of all the incidents that happened, with, like with Bad Lion and them getting exposed and all that. What the? What? Where'd you come from? What? <laughs> But just keep in mind that at this time, I wasn't aware of that at all, and even because of that situation, that doesn't influence my whole opinion on Badline, but I don't support or respect anything that's happened with, like, the, the staff team, so yeah. At the time, I wasn't aware of this, and I saw it, and I was like, hey, you know, that, that looks pretty smooth, because he was using the motion blur, if I'm correct. I don't remember. If I, I don't know what it was, but I saw that someone was using motion blur on Badline, and I saw that there were Badline capes and stuff, and I wanted to just see what it was like, alright? And this, keep in mind, this was before I started my channel. Actually, it might have been just after I started my channel, but I don't recall making any videos on Badline. Okay, see, that was a test for all the people who've been here for a long time. I used to only make videos on Badline, and that was because on my old laptop, bro, the FPS was so bad on anything else, and it wouldn't even let me try Lunar Klein or anything. So I just stuck with Badline for the longest time. But you know, I used Badline for a good while. This is before 3.0 and everything came out, keep in mind, so my opinions have definitely changed since then. And the thing is, at that time, I didn't even like the client. I thought everything was really messy, it was really annoying, and what I wished is that I could use, you know, Forge. I wished that I could use Forge freely and, you know, wouldn't have to worry about frame rates and stuff, and that was before I got my current PC, which runs Minecraft quite smoothly compared to how my old one did. Because <laughs> now I kind of just use whatever I want, but I did start off on this computer using Forge. I feel like it's a common misconception, for me at least, that people think I don't use Badline because of all the drama, but overall, I very much dislike the Badline GUI. Before, I was only using it because it was the only client that gave me decent frames and I couldn't try any other ones because none of them worked on my really old laptop. But bro, I hated this client so much. Like, I saw Sammy Green make a video on PvP Lounge and I tried it and I would have used that full time if it gave me as good frames as Badline on my old computer. And the thing is, frames definitely vary depending on your PC. Like, I have people who get better frames on Badline, I have people who get better frames on Lunar, I have people that get better frames without a client just on Optifine. But you know, I will admit, Badline did help me out a lot with the frames, and you know, I respect it. But I, I don't respect what's going on with them now. I always hated how messy Badline looked, and that's completely just my opinion, but it just looked a bit clunky in my opinion. And not even that, it's just like, okay, there are many inconvenient parts of using Badline Client. Like sometimes when you tab out, 
or something, all your like GUI would go all over the place and become different sizes, if that makes sense. It was like really, really annoying. Another thing I do want to talk about in regards to Badline is that I originally only got it to support a YouTuber I enjoyed watching and I bought their cloak and you know, hey, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, what am I saying at this point? That isn't why I got Badline. <laughs> that makes no sense at first, bro. I literally said that I got it for the FPS boost at first and now I'm saying I got it to support someone. All right, you know, what? let me clear this up. I saw that someone had a cloak on it and then I saw Intel's video on it and that all influenced my opinion and I got it and then shortly after I decided to buy their cloak to support them because you know might as well if this is the only client I'm going to be using. And you know it worked for a while but there were lots of lots of things that I just very much disliked and I don't want to like hate on bad line here but bro come on man. Ah! What are you doing? Huh? Uh oh they know dude they know. They haven't blue cape cape. Bro, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Uh-uh, please. If he sees this video, that's gonna be embarrassing. Uh-oh. Please don't- No, don't break my bed. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Please. Please, you can talk about it. Turtles- Stop, bro! No, no, it's not me. It's not me. Uh-uh. Nah, nah. What the frick? I'm getting absolutely bullied, bro. You're good at the game, man. Or I'm just very bad. It's one of those. I think you're good at the game. Alright, I gotta wait this out here. Let's grab this and this. It's gonna be a scummy way to play, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. As far as I, I, as far as I'm aware, though, I'm pretty sure Badline has a server because I've seen people play different games on it, and I didn't know that existed. And apparently, that's how a lot of people found out about the client. At least that's what I've been told by some people. Don't quote me on that. But you know, overall, that FPS boost attracted me a lot when I had a really bad computer. All right, goodbye. I feel bad. I really didn't deserve that kill. Now fast forward to about when my channel had maybe a thousand subscribers. I was using Forge up until then, probably. I'd like to say maybe, actually, no, 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 no. I used Forge for quite a while, but then I actually decided to swap to PVP Lounge. And the thing about PVP Lounge is that it is a very, very clean, you know, just looking client. It doesn't look too different from Forge and it gave me a nice FPS boost. And you know, I honestly consider playing on PVP Lounge today. So if you guys want to see me make some videos on PVP Lounge, just leave a comment. Cause I feel like it deserves a lot more recognition. It's not even a bad client. It's just the fact that Lunar is kind of taking over at the moment and it, it, <laughs> for a good reason, it's a great client. Now, from what I know, there's lots of controversy when it comes to Badline and how they treat the people who are partnered with them. And I mean, hey, I, I, I can't really speak, but you know, I've had people tell me to go get a Badline cape, but for starters, I don't use Badline and I don't plan on using it because I just dislike how the client feels. Everything's just all over the place. There's way too many mods. I hate how you have to like, okay, so you know how, here, let me go to a safe spot. You see how when I click shift settings and I go to edit this, you see how easy it is to move stuff here? Bad line, for example, the keystrokes, you have to move everything individually as far as I'm aware. They might have changed it, they better have changed it because it was so freaking annoying to organize, dude. So I used PvP Lounge for a good while and then after some time, all my friends were using Lunar Client. I had people like C3W, what the? I had people like C3W, Plumber Kid, all of them using PvP, no, what, what am I saying? They all used Lunar Client and I looked at it and I was like, hey, seems like a good client, lots of people are using it, might as well give it a chance. I came on Lunar Client when, like, it had a lot less stuff than it does now, and it's improved a lot. But when I came on it, it didn't have many mods, and that's the thing I liked about it. It felt, like, really clean and empty, and it just, it overall just felt, like, you know, very enjoyable to use. It didn't have a bunch of extra unnecessary mods, to be honest, for example, because I'm not going to call out anything in specific, but there are some clients I've used that have some mods that are just, like, why? No, who would ever think this is a good idea to use? I think this is just kind of like a really biased thing, but I remember that, um, what do you call it, when you'd load up Badline, it would say it's from Turtle Entertainment or Turtle Incorporated or something, and I, I don't know, I really liked that for a long time, and I kept making the joke that I technically owned Badline client, so pretty much you should all just, yeah. I feel like it also got a lot of popularity from, what do you call it, um, you know the Skyblock add-ons mod? <gasps> no, please, please, please! Oh, wait, that was the last guy, uh-oh, that isn't good. But you know the Skyblock add-ons mod? You know, here. This is actually on Badline first, as far as I'm aware. And let me just tell you guys a little story real quick. I used to play a lot of Skyblock, like a lot of Skyblock. Like, don't get me wrong, I absolutely despise Skyblock to this day, but you know, I guess it's a bit, I think it's appropriate I explain to you guys why I used to, to play that game. It was back around when it first released, maybe a few months after it first released, and I always thought it was a really dumb game, alright? But then me and my friend 8pig, alright, we were vibing, and then we were like, hey, what if we play some Skyblock? So we started Skyblock, and I instantly got way too addicted than I should have been, oh my gosh. 
And when I got addicted, you know, there was lots of grinding, and I'm glad I don't play now, but around the start of my YouTube, I'd go to a cobble generator, and there would be so many beneficial badline add-ons and stuff, it was so cool. Then you could just default dance on them and stuff, and I mean, Lunar has much better emotes, like, much better emotes. But overall, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. The Skyblock add-ons, they, you know, they, they benefited me a lot at the time, and I am nowhere good at skyblock uh, like a lot of people go to my skyblock profile and say you were so bad at skyblock the thing is at the time i actually had like w over average stuff except i just gave all my stuff away before i left i had like a full set of unstable dragon armor it was i don't know if that's good but um what do you call it i had it and i'm pretty sure it was good at the time and then i gave it all away when i ended you know my my skyblock career because i didn't want to make myself come back and man you know what let's go visit my skyblock island i've never gotten so off topic in one video are people making smoothies in my house? Okay. Hi, yes. Here it is. Here is my OG Skyblock Island. I remember there used to be a humongous pota potato. There used to be a huge pumpkin farm down here. It was humongous, dude. Yeah, I have I have quite a few coins. I'm honestly just richer than everyone here. But you know, if you ever want to visit the OG turtle Skyblock Island, just do slash visit a pig. And you should all go sub to a pig. He's a good YouTuber. Okay, now before I start going on about like my life and how I started Hypixel and the emotional stories that I've gone through in my life and how I've lost so many pencils to sharp to electric pencil sharpeners, I'm gonna end the video. Goodbye. <laughs>